As hurricane season nears, soldiers from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers 249th Engineering Battalion are prepping at Carlisle Barracks in Carlisle, Pennsylvania for what may be a busy season. I think you're on the last one there. Yeah, I am. We're doing assessments for uh, FEMA, critical infrastructure analysis, to see what it would take to power up various pieces of infrastructure during an emergency. Assessments like these are also taking place across the country and in Puerto Rico to help USACE be better prepared to respond should the Federal Emergency Management Agency task them with providing power to facilities in areas affected by a natural disaster. We go into the facility, add up all the load, look at what the facility is going to be used for and determine how much power it will need in order to turn it on to meet the mission that would be required. Meanwhile, about 30 minutes up the road at Fort Indian Town Gap, power line distribution specialists with the 249th are getting hands-on training as well, helping the installation with installing new power poles, which is a skill they would be called upon to do while forward deployed or during emergency response situations. Everything that we do out here is uh, ultimately to meet the Army Reserve's mission to train as we fight. Um, we'll be able to do this overseas in humanitarian and warfighter efforts. Training in this type of setting here in you know, the contiguous United States prepares us for what's to come. Um, for example, when our soldiers were deployed to Saipan and when our soldiers were deployed to Puerto Rico to put the lights back on. Not only do the soldiers with the 249th work on power poles, power lines, and perform power infrastructure assessments, they also set up and maintain large generators, capable of powering large buildings or encampments, like what they are simulating at a training range on Fort Indian Town Gap. So this helps verify that we are capable of maintaining and troubleshooting when we have power issues while we're in a field environment. The soldiers all say this training just before the start of hurricane season is beneficial to not only their readiness, but to the readiness of the areas in which they are training. We've seen many times uh, in recent history uh, where the information was not available and we are trying to get into an area that has been decimated by destruction, trying to maneuver through and figure out if we can actually power up a system. and. It's a lot easier to do it ahead of time. If the information's already there, it makes the response much quicker and much more effective. The two-week training exercise also involved the battalion doing facility assessments in Oahu, Hawaii, and conducting facility inspections at Carr Lake Dam in North Carolina as the soldiers gear up for another hurricane season. From Fort Indian Town Gap, Pennsylvania, Patrick Bloodgood.